Kyle Beckerman is a USA soccer midfielder and uh, was on the field when uh, the United States tied Portugal. He joins us now from Brazil. Let me start there, Kyle. Take me inside the USA locker room after you think you're going to win and you end up with a tie. Uh, I mean, it's a bit mixed emotion. I mean, we, we were just so close. I mean, part of it was a little bit of shock. Um, so it was really quiet in the locker room. Um, I mean, part of it felt like a loss. Um, but after, you know, kind of taking a few breaths, getting some a drink of water, um, you realize that we're, we're still in a really good position. And, uh, you know, let's see where we can get better in the game and, and try and improve for next. We had a question yesterday on the show that, uh, and I'm asking the audience, did it feel like a win, a loss, or a tie? Seventy percent said a loss. How would you have mm-hmm. voted yesterday? That that type of result felt like a felt like a loss. Um, I think that's just the way it kind of goes when that's how the tie ends up. I think if you were to score the goal to tie it up late in the game, probably 70% of the people would say it felt like a win. Um, and it's just the way the game went, went out where we got scored on late and they tied it up instead of us. Um, but all in all, it's the same point. Did you watch the film? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Will you? Yep. Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll face it. Yeah. We'll, we're going to have to watch the video. Um, We'll probably do it today or tomorrow, and uh, we'll we'll go over it. We'll see what we did good, see what we did bad, and then uh, look to improve. If you were going to describe Ronaldo to somebody who had never watched soccer before and to describe what makes him so good, how would you do it? I would, I mean, I guess I'd say he's just extremely dangerous. I mean... He's a guy that you might not notice for a big part of the game. And the next thing you know, he's making the cross that is the, is the winning assist or, or he's maybe touching the ball 20 times and he's scoring two or three goals. Um, he's powerful. He's fast. Um, he, he's uh, he's a he's a big player. He's strong, and um, he can really change a game. I guess in a split second. I mean, he, and he's uh, he's just extremely dangerous. And so, for whenever you're playing him, you got to be you got to be aware of him at all times. He's Kyle Beckerman, uh, USA soccer midfielder, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. What about exchanging jerseys? What's the etiquette of if you're if you're going to play against somebody famous? You know, those post-game, if Messi's there or Ronaldo, how do you do it where, you if, you know, you wanted to get his jersey? How, how do you do it? What's the etiquette? Well, I um, I usually just do it with a person that's close to me, whoever that may be. Um, but you do get guys on, on different teams that they're, they're running up to <laughs> Messi or Ronaldo or <laughs> they're having a word with them as the game's going on. Um, but then those guys are also the ones that are going to get some stick in the locker room after. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, etiquette's just, uh, I, I figure, um, the first guy you see, if that's, uh, usually that's somebody that you've been battling with all game and it's kind of, you know, just a, a nice gesture. How many jerseys, jerseys do you have in your collection? Uh, I have about 40 or 50. Well, what are you going to do with them? No idea. What's the best one? Uh, the best one, I think, uh, I, I do have a, a bunch of my friends from around the league, which I really like. Um, and I have, uh, I guess my best one would be an Argentina jersey. Uh, we played them a couple of years back, and I was able to get one. Nice. So you didn't get messy. You got other. Yeah, other, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I said I'll guarantee a win over Germany, but you have to cut your hair. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it for the, yeah, of course. Oh, oh, you would? Yeah. Oh, so you're not attached to the dreads. I mean, they they can come and go. You're all right with that? 
Hey, for a win over Germany, <laughs> it has to happen. That has to happen. <laughs> the uh, inspiration for that? Uh, just a big fan. I always loved him, and um, it's just it's me now. Well, what happened though when you when you went home and then you said, "Mom, look at me." <laughs> uh, in the early early uh, when I was younger, and you know she still had the strict rule. It was get upstairs and go rip that out. And uh, it was haircut time. And then um, in the beginning, as I grew them, she she wasn't a big fan, but she's come around. Uh, now she's a fan. Well, it's easier to see you on the field, though, right? I think that that could be a reason why she's, she's okay with them. Uh, but you can't use your hands, though. Well, you can, but has somebody ever pulled your dreads during a match? A couple times. Yeah, really? it's happened in the... Uh, Wrestling around for corner kicks and guys are grabbing jerseys and and yeah, a couple of times the dreads have gotten pulled. Uh, the heat and humidity, we've heard about that. I know you're in the Amazon for the last uh, match, but uh, how bad has it been? It's been Houston, Dallas, <laughs> East Coast summer, Midwest summer. Um, so the guys that play in the MLS, um, it hasn't been that different i mean it is difficult those places to play are difficult but uh it wasn't something that was so unfamiliar to us so i think in a way it was it was a bit of an advantage um but yeah i mean of course it's hot it's humid but it's i didn't think it was something i hadn't seen before do you have a curfew uh i mean kind of just police yourself pretty much. I mean, there's nothing. We're all here for one reason and it's not vacation. So it's not really a big deal. If, I mean, it's usually, I guess, 12 o'clock, but you know, nobody's even really out past 10 30 anyway. What do you expect from Germany? Well, they, they definitely don't want to tie or lose to us. So they're going to bring everything they got at us. Um, they're, they're a huge, huge, strong, fast uh, team. So we expect it's going to be another tough challenge for us. Um, but we'll, we'll break them down. We've seen a little bit on video already, and uh, we'll try and dissect them a little bit, see if we can find some weaknesses. But r there's not a ton. But we feel like, I mean, it's the same, it's the same game. If we can finish our chances when we get them and we can defend and fight for the guy next to us, we got a, we got a chance. Any chance uh, Altador plays? Uh, well, I hope so. I mean, uh, he's, we got all the docs. We have trainers working on him you know, a couple times a day. You expecting him and to play? I don't even know if I'm, I don't know if I can reveal that. Well, it's hey. just us talking, Kyle. I mean, come on. I don't know. I mean, we didn't see him last game, and uh, how about I, mean, this? I don't really know how you're, serious it is. You're expecting him. Yeah. Well, let's say I'm expecting him. All right. That's fair. And look, <laughs> I'm not going to tell anybody. <laughs> I don't want Klinsman to get mad at you, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't want that either. No, 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 because, yeah, that's the last thing I want. And then your mom's mad at me, and I, that's like, I can't <laughs> take that pressure. Um, hey, have fun. Good luck, and uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, guys. That's Kyle Beckerman, USA Soccer midfielder.